So this is the second phase of the Greenbrier high strength gondola. So the design intent behind the car was first and foremost to make a much lighter weight car so that customers could carry more product in, in each car. The steel that it's made from is gonna last longer, so therefore we can keep the car in the revenue stream longer. We're not gonna set the car out for maintenance. It helps to run a, a, a better, more efficient railroad. And then when the cars are, are now empty and they're coming back you know, to the loading facility, you know, we're handling cars that are lighter. So there is a fuel efficiency savings there as well. It's a great sustainability story and our customers are really excited about it. Building the phase one car allowed us to develop a lot of new manufacturing techniques, a lot of new weld procedures, and gave us confidence in the weldability of these steels. That is what is so different with these cars, is the construction, uh, the materials used in the construction, the bracing that's built into the cars. So a lot of areas that would traditionally be welded on a gondola, there is no welding. We've formed a tub with no welding other than longitudinal welds, which are much better in fatigue than transverse welds. It's got less material in the floor bracing and on the side bracing of the car, along with a reshaped floor to give that strength back to the construction of the car. It's a, it's a totally different design philosophy than we've used on traditional rail cars. Norfolk Southern has been an, a phenomenal partner in this process. We've worked together to get to this prototype and to get to what I think is one of the most innovative uh, events in the past really few decades in, in, in the North American railway market. Okay, take her to uh, one million. It's a, a very series of tests that we've gone through this week that effectively test the structure and framework of the car to ensure that it can withstand abuse. Uh, we're replicating loading in the field. So what we're doing here today is trying to get as many loads as we can to replicate out as many years as we can based on how many times these cars are loaded in a 12 month period. So far the car has performed admirably. The next phase of this is to take the car out into field service and start beating the car. Loading, unloading trials, making sure that we have all of the durability of the car to give a 50 year asset life. I've been here 25 years and the standard has been the standard. Now this is something that's new, has never been done before, so it's exciting.